Hey everyone, this is Endgamers here with another Prop Paladin video for you. This is part two. Part one covers spells and abilities, and this one is going to be covering talents and glyphs. Now, uh, one of the things I wanted to do is uh, point out that there are two ways to do Prop Paladin PvP and Arena, and one of the ways in uh, Battlegrounds that is most commonly used is just Pret, which is Protection and retri Retribution. Those are the two combinations that you want to use if you're in Battlegrounds a lot. But uh, you will see some people who are prot holy, which is it's a viable option. It's pretty good. But I prefer protection retrib retribution. So I cannot give you too much information on holy and prot. I'm sorry. But I will look over some of these like uh, our Bitter of Light, of light um, increases the critical effect chance of your judgment. Um, you're not going to be using Templar's Verdict if you're pre or uh, Protection Holy. Let's call that Poly. Okay, so I'm just going to call it Poly because they have Pret. So uh, Arbiter of Light, I would not invest in that. Yeah, you know, let me see what else other uh, options we have. Uh, uh, on any target except yourself. Okay, well this is one that you probably want to pick up. Uh, casting a targeted healer, or target, I'm sorry, casting a targeted heal on any target except yourself also heals you for 1,477. Now, I would assume that that um, uh, would uh, increase with spell power and intellect and such like that, you know. Now, the judgment, Incre your, your judgment increases your casting in melee haste by 3% for one minute. I would use that one. And that would, uh, of course, as you rank into it, it would increase. So probably like 9% at 3. I would probably go for 3 in uh, judgments of the pure and 2 in innocent. I don't know. And uh, let's see. You have, I don't know how many points you have, but last word. And last word would be you be really helpful, you know, it increases the critical strike of your word of glory on people who are 35% health or less. I'd probably use that. Uh, now, clarity of purpose reduces the cast time of your holy light. That's another good thing you probably want to invest in. Uh, holy shock. Increases the damage, so that's damage. I don't know, if you want to use damage, probably go pret. I would probably not use that. So, uh, yeah, those are that's pretty much as far as you can get into that tree. So let's go look at the, the ret tree. Now after you go into protection, you can go into the ret tree 10 points or, I believe it's 10 points. Yeah, it's 31 points into prop before you can go into the second one. Alright. So, um, eye for an eye. All magic attacks against you have a 40% chance to cause 30% of the damage taken back to the attacker as well. That is a great one. Especially if you're DPS, DPS, or you want to get them fast. So that's great. Crusade increases the damage of your Crusader Strike, Hammer of Righteousness, Templar's Verdict by 30%, and damage and healing of your Holy Shock by 30%. You're not going to be using Holy Shock because I actually, you know, I see all these Holy Shock stuff. I know it's not available. Yeah, it's not available. They're trying to trick me. Um, I am a Holy player versus environment. But uh, Crusade, uh, in addition, for 15 seconds after you kill an enemy that yields experience or honor, your next Holy Light heals for an additional 300%. That is awesome, but I don't think that works in Arena. Sorry. Uh, rule of Law. Incre oh, wait, let's go to Judgment. Improve Judgment. Um, I don't really... Well, I wouldn't really use that, because you're not going to get to the second one, which probably would be the only reason why you want it. So I would not use that. Um... It increases the range of your judgment by 10 and then 20%. But here's the second one. We have Guardian's Favor, which reduces the cooldown of your Hand of Protection by 60 seconds and increases the duration of your Hand of Freedom. Probably a good idea to invest in that, but if you would rather have Pursuit of Justice, I would pick that. You uh, Pursuit of Justice is you have a 100% chance to gain a charge of Holy Power when struck by a Stun, Fear, or Immobilize effect. That is really great. In addition, your mount, your movement speed and m mounted movement speed by 15% uh, increase. The effect does not stack. Okay. So now we have rule of law, which is the second branch of the tree, I guess. Is uh, increases the critical strike chance of your crusader strike, armor of righteousness, and order glory. 
Now this is really great, really, 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 really great. If, especially if you have the gloves. Let's see here. Let's see how much extra we have. Um, where is it? All right, right there. Wait, what the? Okay. Increases the damage dealt by your Crusader Strike there, which is the gloves. And glyphs we have. Uh, glyph of the Crusader Strike. Increases the cruise critical strike, which is great because you don't get much crit uh, from gear. Kind of lost. Yeah. All right. And this one is 15%, so that would be 20% extra crit chance. So aside from the, let's see here, what's my crit? It's not that high. I have been uh, reforging from uh, the whatever thing you have to crit. But let's see, I have 6.20%, so that would be 26. 26, yeah, 26.20% chance to crit. Let's go into the prod tree here, which is your main tree. We have 3%. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 3 into Divinity, which would give you 6% healing, which is really great. Casted by you and on you. I would invest in that one. Seals of the Pure. Increases the damage done by your Seal of Righteousness, Seal of Truth, and Seal of Justice. I would use that one because you know you're going to be using Seal of Truth a lot. And uh, especially if you're DPS, DPS, or in your Battleground, you know you want to get to high damage. <clears throat> and uh, Eternal Glory. Your Word of Glory has 30% chance not to consume Holy Power. I would really use that. It has progged a lot for me. It is great. I, especially like if I'm low and I'm like, oh man, Holy Power. Um, I gotta use Word of Glory. Oh, wow. I get my 3 extra. So you can either use that on another Word of Glory if needed, or you can use it on Shield of Righteousness. Very great option there. Uh, judgments of the Just. Your Judgment reduces the melee and ranged attack speed of the target by 10%. You could use it. Um, I prefer not to, but you know, it's all right. Instead of toughness, toughness, which increases your armor, I did go into that. Uh, it helps a little. I yeah, I use that. So now we have hammer of justice. Improved hammer of justice. I'm sorry. It decreases the cooldown of your hammer of justice spell, which is very good. You want to use that. And uh, okay, let's go to hollowed ground. Increases the damage of your consecration by 20% and decreases the mana cost. I would not use that because I'm not really using consecration because they can move out of it, you know. It's not really something that's always there. Sanctuary reduces the chance you'll be critically hit by melee attacks by 6%. That's good. It'll stack with resilience. Well, actually, resilience, I think they've changed that so you don't get crit reduction. But here we go Hammer of Righteousness. Hammer. Oh, that's the spell. Okay, yeah, you want to get that one for sure, like 100%. Wrath of the Lightbringer increases the damage by 100% of your Crusader Strike and Judgment, and increases the Critical Strike chance by 30% of your Holy Wrath and Hammer of Wrath. I would really get that, especially on Hammer of Wrath. Now, uh, Shield of Righteousness. Wait. Or, yeah, okay, that's another spell you want to get. Uh, Reckoning. I would not do that. Um... Yeah, I would I would not do that. It's just an extra attack after blocking, but nah, that's more for PvE. Uh, Grand Crusader, when your Crusader Strike or Hammer of Righteous deals damage to your primary target, you have a 20% chance of refreshing your cooldown of your next Avenger Shield. You, I, That's another thing I was talking about in the other video, the cooldown of Avenger Shield. I would use that very much, especially a lot of healers, so get that or else. Now, Vindication. Your Crusader Strike and Hammer of Righteousness reduce da physical damage done by your primary targets by 10% for 30 seconds. I would get that one a lot. Your Hammer of Justice will interrupt creatures that are immune to stuns. That's pretty rude. Holy Shield. Um, I would get that one. Pretty good. That's from uh, Shield Righteousness. Guarded by the Light. Uh, increases your Word of Glory. It's pretty much spells and abilities increasing uh, Divine Guardian is something you really need in PvP uh, arena. Get that. And I'm sorry I'm speeding up right here, but I really need to finish before 10 minutes. I don't know why, it, but the stupid thing won't let me encode. But all right, well, aside from that, all right, Sacred Duty. Uh, your judgments have a 50% chance of making your next Shield of Righteousness a critical strike. Very good. Get that. Ardent Defender, I would get that because it's a damage reduction. And Shield of Templar reduces the cooldown of Avenging Wrath. By 60 seconds, get that. That would be good because you want to proc that much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.